Hey guys, Antrodum here. And Grimoire here. And welcome back to another vlog. And as you guys can probably tell from whatever I'm going to be titling this video, uh, today we're going to talk about some minecon -y type stuff. As you guys know, uh, what is it, like at the beginning of next week, or no, at the end of this week actually, you know, this Saturday and Sunday, we got minecon coming up and me and Grailmore are going to be going together. Uh, if you guys don't know Grailmore, you really, you really should. <laughs> Let's just say... She is my significant other. <laughs> uh, we we did a video recently, and I and I addressed that you know the yeah, thousand video cool. thing. But um, you know, I wanted to make it more official of a thing here. And she's going to be having a vlog going up on her channel, very similar to the one that I'm releasing. So be sure to check that out. But anyways, uh, the sorts of things that I want to talk about is uh, well, again, Minecon is the main real topic point of this video. Um, and I think by the time this video comes out, or very very soon after it. The schedule for Minecon is going to be released, and um, yeah, I'm a part of a pretty big panel. I'm a, I think I'm actually I'm a part of a meet and greet with Beijing Canadian, and I believe um, someone else. I can't. I don't exactly know who. I, I can't remember because think people are being added like right now to that meet and greet thing. But that'll be happening on Sunday for those of you who are going to Minecon, and as well. I'm going to be a part of the interview with YouTubers panel. Well, it's one of the very first big main stage panels uh, that are going to be going on on Sunday. I think that's at like 12:30 something. I don't know. You guys can check the schedule if you're going to Minecon, and uh, yeah, because I I really feel like this is going to wind up being a whole lot of fun for both of us. Yeah, it's my first convention, so I have no <laughs> idea what to expect. Please. God forbid no weird people like ruin the experience for me. No, but so. that, that that just doesn't happen. See, the mentality of anonymity tends to disappear in the face of meeting someone face to face and security guards that way and security guards that way and security guards that way and that way. It tends to disappear and you tend to not, people just tend not to be like that. But uh, anyways, after Minecon winds up happening, me and Rachel are going to be taking a five day vacation to Disney. Uh, don't worry guys, I do have videos, um, you know, all pre-recorded and whatnot, but I'm not going to be doing two videos. As you guys probably noticed, uh, last weekend I didn't do two videos, and this upcoming weekend I won't be doing two videos or a live stream, because naturally, we are going to be at, you know, at Disney World, and Minecon, and Orlando, and it's going to be awesome, and then... Yay! We're gonna be flying back on the ninth for that, and yep. uh, it's gonna be wind up being a it's gonna wind up being a lot of fun. I mean, I honestly don't know what to expect because I went to Minecon 2011, mm -hmm. and, and that was that was really really cool and all. But I mean, things were different back then. Now this time it's just like Minecraft has grown into this giant gaming cultural phenomenon, way more so than it used to be. And um, I mean. Where I am on YouTube these days is just way different than what it used to be back then, and you know the mentality is different. So, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting. So. Also, he's never been to Disney, so this will be his first time in the park. Yeah, she's gonna wind up being like my tour guide and yeah. stuff. And uh, another thing that I wanted to mention as well is I wasn't really too sure with Minecon if we were gonna wind up having any sort of footage like similar. If you guys haven't seen any of my PAX videos, I'll try and remember to link them in the description below. But uh, if you guys have seen those, you'll notice that it's like sort of like an, an edited together experience of what I'm like doing this, pretending like I'm holding the camera, but it's like a mini steering wheel. But it, she's weird. It looked like you were driving a car, okay? You're weird. You're like. But that, it, it's okay. But I'm going to actually, uh, I, I wasn't sure for a while if I was going to wind up having any footage like that, but yes, uh, I, it looks as if I am. Um, a friend that I, well, I had an extra Minecon oh. ticket, and a friend of ours uh, decided that they wanted to go and offered to film for me, and he also is very good with photography and whatnot, so I have no doubt that he's going to wind up doing a really good job of that. And so expect to see some cool Minecon adventure type stuff that's going to be going on, possibly um, one on your channel as well. Yeah. Um, and Whoa. That hurt. Wow. Okay, continue. <laughs> and that's pretty much what's going to be going on on the Minecon side of things. And uh, there's a lot of cool things that are going to be coming out of Minecon. Um, there's also a secret project that I am working on that I've briefly mentioned before. I've showed it once or twice. But um, let's just say, well, Rachel knows. She, she knows all about it. Um, I am going to say it, but I'm not going to release any details about it. But I am going to be coming out with a server. Um, hopefully by the end of the year. Again, I'm not going to give any details on that. I can say that most of our maps are done and we are starting on the brunt of coding, which is good because 1.7 just came out and that's going to give us a fresh, you know, version to work with. So we don't, we, we weren't like halfway into designing it with 1.6. We just yeah. kind of, uh, 
we just kind of started coding very, very recently. So that's going to be awesome. And um, let's just say a couple of elements of Minecraft that have fallen by the wayside are probably going to be making a comeback with the server in some really interesting ways. I think I've, I've barely looked directly at the lens throughout this entire video. <laughs> I've been like looking that ish way, so I don't know if I was... That's what I do though, like during these things. I'm like, I forget that I'm recording, I'm just gonna go talk to I'm just, to the I'm wall, just uh, you know? there's, there's swords on the wall and uh, posters uh, and stuff. Light. Lamp! Lamp! <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a pretty clear sign that it's time to end off this vlog, yeah. but um... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. If there is anything else that I wanted to cover, I'll probably throw something into the description or you'll see text on the screen like, 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 like text. Or, or like, wee, 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 Everywhere. Rachel, I have a question for you mm. before we end off this vlog. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is horseradish an instrument? <laughs> no. Okay. But, but the real question is how does Sandy Cheeks play that instrument through the glass? She probably like puts it through her suit and then plays it. And it's just like thing, huh? SpongeBob reference. If you guys don't get it, I, like, I personally feel bad for you. I don't think you. she would play trombone or something like that because, you know, slide. But maybe she'd play a smaller instrument inside her little helmet thing. And yet nobody would hear it. Maybe the flower thing <laughs> is an instrument and like every time she breathes into that glass thing, the flower could make noise. Who knows? SpongeBob references all the way. I hope at least 5% of you got that reference. If not, you should look up the is mayonnaise an instrument thing and yeah. you'll find it. Anyways! Wait, 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 no. And if you are watching this and you are one of the makers of SpongeBob, you should make Sandy's flower make noise. Anyway. That was really random. I did not expect, like, like there, there's a certain level of random, like, <laughs> randomness starts here. She's usually about here with random, you know, which is like, pretty random. Up here. And then like she, she like 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 she she just like went way up here with randomness and I don't understand anymore. Minecon is going to be awesome and I hope to see a lot of you there. If you do wind up seeing either one of us, we're going to be together most of the time. Do not hesitate to come up to us and, you know, just say hi and whatnot. Uh, because that we're looking for that from as many people as possible. I think it's going to be an amazing amazing experience. Yep. So I hope you all have enjoyed and I hope to see you at Minecon because me and Rachel are going to be there together as well and it's going to be awesome. So yeah, thanks so much for watching.